second spot. We are ready to go eight laps here in the Pure Stock C feature. As they come down off turn four, green flag flies. We are underway with the third and final Pure Stock feature on the evening. The 50 to wind of Todd, Todd McNeil. Going to lead him down to turn one. Todd McNeil brings him up here through turn one and two. Bob Palmer rides there in second spot. Back in third spot is the 94 of Tim Drum. Fourth spot is Frank Amwa. We got one heavy, heavy contact to the inside wall. Four cars involved all together. Two cars spinning. Two cars make contact. And Tommy Sanchez pulls around as we have yellow out on the speedway. So, contact made as they come down to the restarting cone. We'll keep an eye on the green. Green flag is out, and we are underway with the third and final pure stock feature, and Rob Yetman already making his way towards the front. Down to turn one they go. Todd McNeil is your leader, and we got a bunch of cars inside and outside back here. Down the back stretch they run. The 29 of Bob Palmer, he rides in second spot. The 36 of George Miles rides third. As they make their way up through turn three and four, down off turn four they come. Your leader, Todd McNeil. McNeil brings his way into turn one. The 29 of Bob Palmer rides second. Third spot is George Miles. Fourth position is the 37 of Bill Hamill. They make their way off turn two. They make contact. The fifth place car, the 14 of Gary Virgilio. He starts to make his way towards the front with the great white number 14. Virgilio down to the inside. He really had to turn that one down the hill as they got down to turn three. They'll come off turn four. Down the front chute they come. McNeil continues to be shown as your leader. Camel and the 14 of Virgilio going at it back there for fourth spot. Now Virgilio going to get the spot away down to the inside. Hamill will pull back down behind him. He'll work up to the top side now as they both try and work to the inside of the 29 of Bob Palmer. Palmer up there now will give away the fourth spot. The third spot now will be handled by the 14 of Virgilio. Gary Virgilio with the number 14 now shows in third spot. The race for fourth spot is now going to turn into a three-car affair. Rob Yetman drives downstairs into turn one. Way up to the top goes the 29 of Palmer. Palmer on the outside going to drop out of the top five now as both the 37 of Hamill and the number seven of Yetman get by him down here as they make their way to turn three. Smoke showing from the backside of the number 14 of Virgilio. Your leaders exit turn four. Down the front stretch they come. The 59 of McNeil continues to be shown as your leader. The rest of the cars going at it back there for third spot. Virgilio shows in the runner-up spot. Hamill in second. They'll come down off turn two down the back stretch. The 59 of McNeil going to bring them up to the west end. Now Virgilio closes ground. Back in third spot is the 37 of Hamill. Bill Woosley, with, or the 36 of Miles, gets in trouble down here in turn two. He'll pull down off the racing surface. We remain under green. Down to turn one they go. The 14 of Virgilio really hanging it out up through turn one and two. Now getting a good bite off turn two down the back stretch. 37 of Hamill rides back there in third. Now Yetman gets a run on him down to the inside. Rob Yetman with the number seven trying to make his way into the top three. He'll work his way through turn three and four, off turn four. This time they come down to get the two-to-go sign. Side-by-side -side battle for the lead between Virgilio and McNeil. Virgilio takes over the point as they come down to turn one. McNeil rides there in second spot. Yetman rides back in third, Hamill in fourth. Your new fifth-place runner is the 23 of Tommy Sanchez. First four cars in a group up here on the point. A little bit of smoke showing off the backside of Virgilio's number 14. We'll see if it lasts one more lap as Virgilio comes down to take the white flag. One more lap around for Gary Virgilio. Rob Yetman trying to make his way back to victory lane, but he's got a long way to go. It looks like problems on Virgilio's car, but we've got yellow out on the speedway. So was not problems on the car. Virgilio saw the yellow lights and dropped off the pace and a little bit more smoke showing off. But a couple drivers obviously not seeing the yellow lights as uh, they come down to the turn three as a rather fast clip down there. 
But one thing, letting off on the back the walkways, and of course no throwing of stones is permitted. Thank you. Well, the green flag flies. We've got a one-lap shootout here on this Pure Stock C feature. Down to turn one they go. Gary Virgilio going to bring him up to the east end here for the final time. Rob Yetman trying to make that outside line work now as he'll try and get by Todd McNeil. McNeil down to the inside had that second spot, but now Yetman takes it back over. Down to turn three they go. The 14 of Virgilio showing smoke off the back end of the car. He'll come off turn four. Down to the stripe they come. Checkered flag is out. The 14 of Virgilio wins it. Yetman has to settle for second. The 59 of Todd McNeil finishes third. Four spot is the 23 of Tommy Sanchez. Rounding out the top five is the number 44 of Bill Hughes. Number 14 of Gary Virgilio. But it didn't keep him out of victory lane. As there you have, out of the car, his third feature win of 1997. Gary Virgilio picks up the feature win. Gary hails out of Pittsfield with the county auto wrecking, number 14. Down here, posting yet another victory here in 1997. Event number three, as we said. His third feature of the season for Gary Virgilio, your winner of tonight's Saxton sign. Pierstock, C feature is Gary Virgilio.